Hey guys, so today I am so excited to finally share with you my makeup organization currently updated, all that good stuff. I'm even going to show you the dreaded, I would say, Ikea cabinets that have been like shamefully not shown lately because they were a bit of a hoarding situation. Um, so if you guys are familiar with my setup and you've seen these videos from me over the years, I've changed my setup a little bit here and there. I always talk about cleaning out, always. I really love cleaning out, it makes me feel good. I either, you know, I like to clean out my clothes, I like to keep our home organized, but doing what I do on YouTube, it comes with a lot of freaking products. <laughs> you get PR boxes, you get, you know, all that good stuff. Not complaining, totally wonderful, but you gotta understand that it's a lot of stuff. And if you are not in a mindset doing what I do that you cannot keep everything and you have seriously got to like weed out what you like, what you don't like, you don't need to keep everything, you will end up in a harder situation like underneath the pile of makeup that will kill you slowly. And I finally decided, you know, enough is enough. Like I've weeded it out little by little over the years. In my mind, I always say I would love to just have everything that I use right here. I'd like to just have you know, and I realize my collection is still large. You get what I do, you understand. I'm constantly trying new things, but I'm also the type that likes to stick with what I like and I like to actually use up things. I don't mind having several things, like several different bronzers at once or several, as long as I can see them all and use them. My problem was I would save everything that I got, most everything. I would keep it in that Ikea cabinet. I had a drawer for bronzers, a drawer for lipsticks, a drawer for brushes, which was shameful. And I look back at all that and I was like, oh my gosh, like craziness. And I would end up cleaning out stuff over the years. And when I actually went into that cabinet, I realized I never reached for any of this stuff. Why am I holding on to a Kermit green eyeliner that I'm never going to reach for? Do I think I'm going to actually use that? No. And so I finally decided, okay, enough is enough. I'm seriously going through all this. I'm not just throwing away everything to get to a certain point of, okay, everything needs to be in here. I'm literally just going to get rid of everything, give away, throw away the old, give away things that are new so that I'm in a place where everything that I have are things that I love. Yes, I have been reading Marie Kondo. I read the whole book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. I know I'm late to the game on that, but um, literally cleaned up my whole house in like a week. Can't even tell you how much the whole thing just changed my mindset. I'm a good organizer. I don't like clutter. I don't like a lot of things, but that's what, that's what gets me is like, I have good storage, but there's a lot of things in storage. You know, I don't need all that, so I, I'm so proud of myself, I feel so much lighter, I feel so much better, and the makeup, the makeup got it. The makeup really, really got it, and I'm so happy, and I look at all the stuff that I have, and I'm still like, wow, this is a crap ton, but it's manageable, and it's stuff that I can actually use, so I'm so, so excited. I'm going to actually show you what the cabinet looks like in there. So yeah, with makeup, all I did is I just, you know, I did what I usually do. If anything's old, if anything is, you know, makeup products, most of them have that little... Um, go oh, well this is a mascara so it's literally like the size of a speck of sand but you know they have that little it looks like a jar like a little open jar and look at look at any of your products chances are like 90% of them will have it and it'll say six months or 12 months or 24 months I I'm like no nonsense about that if something is past that date I don't care how much you spend on it get rid of it if you spend $50 on a lipstick or $50 on which nuts okay if you spend $50 on a product or 30, whatever, it's expensive, you better be using it anyways. Like I'm the type, I'm like gonna use something, you know, I'm not gonna just like hoard it away and then have to end up throwing it away because it's old or not enjoying it because when you finally do use it in the back of your mind, you're thinking, this one's like two years old. So, so, so use your stuff. Briefly, I'm just gonna kind of go over this really quickly. Like I don't like a lot of things sitting out. I see people using those clear things and I did, put my lipstick in a clear thing and actually it made me itch for a couple days because like I said, I don't like my makeup sitting out. Like I just like everything to be put away, looking real just like clean. For one, I didn't have the room in these drawers and my big vanity, which I'll talk about in a second. It really helped me to see all of them and to organize all of them and it's really pretty. So I, I'm really, really enjoying it. Of course my brushes sit out and I'll show you all that in a moment, but I have this desk. Um, it's from Ikea. I'll link to the ones that I have, but when I redid this room, you know, I got these two pieces of furniture. I did a setup video. I will link to that below because I don't want to get into all that. Uh, but I will briefly talk about this piece because I think it's really great. Um, so I will link to that video if you want to see that. But it's super, super long. It's longer than like an average desk. 
And what's awesome is that it's got two giant drawers. Like there's no wasted space on the top of the piece of furniture, like under the cabinet. The whole thing is storage. And you know, I get to looking and I'm like, how in the world can I not fit everything that I have? And, and I've even got room to spare. So I feel like I've got so much stuff still. I'm so, so happy with my makeup collection. I feel like it all is just right here. It all makes me feel good. And it's all stuff that I really, really like. So I've got a face drawer, an eye drawer, and I think this is better than it's ever been. And I'm really, really excited to share with you guys. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I want to share before I get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. So this is kind of an overview of what it looks like. You guys have probably seen this before um, in a couple videos I've done on this room. I've got a closet over here, which I'll show inside there in a moment because that also has the white cabinet that I used to keep like extra stuff in. Over there I've got another little desk where I used to keep my hair stuff last time you guys saw this, but I like to do my hair in my bathroom, like at the vanity in there. So that is usually where my laptop chills, although it is sitting over here right now. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of just have kind of work stuff over there, work papers, all kinds of stuff in that cabinet. I just made that cabinet so I don't have a lot of, I have like some filing type stuff and then I'm going to hang my Prada sign I think over that. I've just kind of got a, a jumble of stuff over there right now. I was even thinking, I know this is funny, I was thinking about painting over that Prada sign and like making something else. Cause it's a nice big like canvas piece. I don't know. I think I might just keep it hanging up over there. It might be fun. But so this is what it looks like. I turned off my ring light so I wouldn't be blinding you. I have my little board back there. Where I keep little things. Um, so I recently, well, okay. First of all, I just got these in the mail. I have never, this brand seems familiar, but I've never had anything by them. I'm obsessed. They're li liquid lipsticks. I've used like four of them so far, but the color range is phenomenal. They're they're just, they're beautiful, and the formula is really good. So I have those out because I want to kind of talk about those, um, and I have not put them in here yet. So what I did, I kind of did that little spiel at the beginning. You kind of caught all that, but, you know, I just thought, why waste this cabinet? Why waste my lipsticks? Like, it's just so nice to be able to see them, and, um... So what I did is I have lipsticks up here, Charlotte Tilbury stuff, a couple of Tom Ford lipsticks, all of my lip liners, which I think I could thin out even more, a couple of like lip pencil type things. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm not going to go through every single product, but I'm, I mean, I might talk more specifically about some things, but this is just a lot where lipsticks are concerned. I've got all these nice Too Faced lipsticks that I like, a couple of NARS. These are wonderful. They're the, what are they called? The Audacious Lipsticks. Um, Marc Jacobs Urban Decay, a Sigma Lipstick. I really like their uh, Power Crayons too. I think I had one up here, yeah. Gosh, I hope I'm like, I hope this is filming okay. Then I've got some of my Bite Lipsticks in there too. Uh, and then I've got MAC Lipsticks. This, I can say, I am proud to say, these are all my MAC lipsticks. I think MAC has a lot of repetitive colors, so I spent forever. I, it was so worth it, though. I went through, I kept some weird colors. Like, I kept, you know, some dark, really deep colors, like some purpley shades, uh, some reds. But I didn't keep a million of every single one because I know I don't wear those very often. And I kept all the colors that are just, like, my must-have, my favorites. Cause I don't use the other ones anyway. So I have my uh, Too Faced Melted Lipsticks, my... Studded Kiss Lipsticks by Kat Von D, which I love. And I'm going to put my, how do you pronounce this, Jour lipsticks in here, too. They'll be able to kind of stack nicely. And then these are my liquid lipsticks. Obviously, now I'll add these to the collection. When I clean out, like when I kind of go through things, I pick out colors that I like. And, you know, I just keep the colors that I like from a range. And honestly, I don't think there's any that I would get rid of from this range. They're so pretty. So that's some of my NYX suede lipsticks. The uh, Tarte Lip Paints, the Kat Von D, a couple, or one of the Dose of Colors, the Anastasia, and um, I have another Anastasia too over there. And then in this last drawer I've got liquid, or not liquid, um, lip glosses, and a couple of like lip treatment things, like lip balms, my Dior Lip Maximizer, and this little bit of tint. And that is it. And then over there, that's a box of something that I'm going to show soon, and then my Urban Decay, which I need to keep over here. 
because I always forget to use it. And then um, I have this, which usually is full of uh, tissues. Both of these things I got on Amazon, by the way. I don't know if they still have them, but I will link to them if I can find them. And then I love how it's got this little drawer. I want to put some uh, swabs in there, like some Q-tips, and then my um, sharpeners are in there. And then I have my makeup mirror, which is by Zadro. And I've talked about it before a little bit. I'll find it and link to it because I really love it. And then I've got my brushes. These are basically all of my brushes that that I use. <laughs> I just I like them to obviously that's the easiest way with brushes is to keep them sitting out. And then usually there's nothing over here if I'm doing a video or something. I've got like um, I don't know, I've got some stuff sitting over there. That little light sometimes I use to light the background if I need to, if it's a dark day. Okay, so the way this is set up, there's two drawers. I sit right here in the middle, and you can see it's a ton of space. And after cleaning out, this is almost even, You, the more you clean out, the more I think excess stuff kind of overwhelms you. So it's doable though, but I think I could, I don't know, I say I think I could thin out even more. I definitely know I could. So this side is face stuff, the other side is um, eye stuff and um, it's pretty easy so the stuff that I kind of go for the most is right here toward the middle and then I kind of like work out I guess is that how I have it set up I don't know but I just have some random little dividers in here I could not even say where they're from I've had them for years um, I know some of these clear ones came from Target at some point but I don't know where this guy came from I have no clue um, this is kind of a little fat odd brush so I keep it in there sometimes but I've got um, foundations over here I don't keep a lot of liquid foundations, although I feel like this is a lot right now. I know the Makeup Forever Matte Plus ones are probably getting a little old. But, you know, I'm just funny about foundations. I, I don't like to have a ton because they do go bad. I don't like to put them on my skin, obviously, if they are. But these are just, I've got some of my favorite ones here. And then um, my MAC Prep and Prime, although I do have some of my concealers in here. I have powders, setting powders, any kind of, like, setting type of powder in there. And then I have primers in here. Loving this Becca Backlight Primer. This is literally the best primer I've ever used. Besides that Makeup Forever brightening one. I think they're all pretty good. And then I have this too, which is the Burberry little glow stuff that I mix in my foundation sometimes. So also my, um, my Beauty Blender and the little strobing thing from Hourglass. And then over here, I have my little section of bronzers. NARS Laguna, which is in this obnoxious, I hate this one that's in this packaging. It came with that brush, but the product's still good in it, so I'm going to use it. But it's just very thick and odd, but I just, I like the original packaging. I've got the Benefit Hula, which I'm starting to like, like again, I don't know. I've got a couple of um, Makeup Forever, NARS, and my Hourglass Luminous bronzer, whatever, the Too Faced Endless Summer, which I've been enjoying, and then of course my Chanel Bronze Universal, which I'm almost out of, and then behind there I've got some strobing things, I've got my beloved Laura Mercier um, highlight powder that I love, I've got a couple of the Hourglass, the Luminous, and the Ethereal Light, these are really the only ones that I use, and so they're the only ones that I really kept. I've got my, I think this is Incandescent, the Hourglass, yeah, the Incandescent, which is really the only one that I ended up loving for myself. It is a little sh more shimmery, but I like that at night sometimes, so I kept that. It's just a different look. Um, and then I've got the Becca Pearl in the poured, the cream version, and then I've got the Becca Pearl in the liquid version. I've got my blushes right here, a ton of these little Too Faced Heart ones, <laughs> the, um, you know, the Urban Decay score, which I really love. I've got my little um, Burberry little cheek stick thing for kind of like no makeup days. And then my Burberry cheek pops. Is that what they're called? No. Color bloom, cheek bloom, something. NARS ones, a uh, couple of like a Lorac one, Nick, uh, my Plum Gorgeous Clinique that I love, the Chanel Rose Initial. And those are my blushes. I got rid of a lot of Chanel blushes. Like, literally everything that you see is what I have. If you don't see something, I don't have it anymore. A lot of my Chanel blushes were so old and they just were colors that I wasn't using a lot anymore. The last time that I used my Malice by Chanel, I broke out. But I don't, I never had that situation with it before, but that one was pretty old. And I have a newer Rose Initial, so I decided just to keep that. 
I've got some blush palettes. I've got this Love Flush by Too Faced that I love. I've got my Gwen Stefani blush palette, which is just love that. This is just awesome. Like if I was ever traveling, I could carry this with me. It is my Laura Mercier Trio that has that highlighter in it. It's got a bronzer and it, it's got like a, that color called Ritual isn't really a blush. It is more like just, to me, it is like a bronzer, but you could get away with just using these. And um, that's just an awesome trio. And then back here, I've got some contour palettes. So um, the Tardis contour palette by Tarte is an all powder contour palette. I like it, but it's one of those things I probably could thin out, although I really do love it. I think I will keep it though, just because if I traveled or something, it kind of has everything in it that you'd need. The Kevin Aquan, this one I definitely can thin out because the only, when I say thin out, I mean like I'm going to get rid of it, but I really do only like the sculpting cream and the eyeshadows are nice, but I've got other things that work. Um, and then I don't like the packaging. You see how it's like, you just see how it looks gross. It's like bleed, not bleeding, but it's like just just gross. I hate it when cream products are not in an airtight thing and they're like right next to powders. I just don't like that packaging. The Anastasia Cream Highlighter. I really want to get the one in Fair, although I feel like Tiffany is at a total waste because you said yourself, these feel kind of heavy and makeup-y, which they do. I would never pile that on like where I would want to highlight because it's just so thick. I would feel my pores literally like caking up. It's just gross. But I do like the consistency of these. I don't know. I I would say probably 90% I'm not going to get it, but I am curious. The NYX Highlight and Contour Palette is the best powder contour palette ever. So I think I could probably get rid of other things. This little gem is brand new. I hope they're available now, but okay. This literally, I said, you know, I want a cream that is a cream contour that is small, that isn't a compact, like, situation packaging <laughs> and this is it's just so great so this is the um the shade 20 i guess it would be so you've got a highlight a contour a shimmer and kind of like a color that you can use on your cheeks or your lips and the shimmer is just right you can use it on your nose and your cheeks you don't look crazy but it shows up uh this actually is light enough to show up like if you put it down your nose or like in areas where you'd highlight and then this is a really pretty contour and the colors are really creamy and blend nice so I love it it's just very compact and pretty so this is all of my face stuff and then you move over to the eye stuff and I have it situated again kind of by what they are so I've got some false lashes back here just ones that I'm gonna make it a point to use um, however false lashes take up a huge space and it's not something that you'd reach for every single day you don't need to see all of them that you have and I kind of have a lot so I'm still kind of going through all those Ardell ones that I got like a few years ago. So I have those in my, in a drawer in the closet, which I'll show you. Because there's just no sense in piling it all up in here. So I've got mascaras back here. Currently my favorites are the Chanel Volume as always. And then the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. Is that what it's called? Yeah. I've got brow stuff right here. I've got a lot of brow products considering I usually just use like one thing, but a lot of these are new that I have not tried yet. Um, a couple of new matte products. I've got my um, lash glue in there. Some scissors for trimming my brows. I've got some tweezers, but most of the time I've just been using this Hourglass Arch Pencil. It kind of replaced my brow whiz. Um, and then in here I've got like primers, cream products, anything like that. Cream eyeshadows, um, you know, base type things, I guess. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything to really mention specifically. I guess I would say the very best one that I have ever tried is this NARS. It, the color, like, a, if you want, like, a good, just basic colorless primer. This one is just the best out of everything. Um, but I've got, you know, some other good things too. I really love the Maybelline 24 hour color tattoo shadows, the cream shadows. I love these NARS velvet shadow sticks, the Laura Mercier caviar stick. And then I've got, um, right here, a couple of gel liners, cream liners. Those, you know, they tend to dry out. You can't really keep a lot of those. So I don't really understand having a huge collection of those because you would never use them. And if you did go to use them, they'd probably be old and nasty. So I just kind of keep what I use. And right now I've got a Bobbi Brown. I've got, um, yeah, my, my Ico is really what I've been using the most. I've got a new Clinique one. 
that I've been using. I've got um, just some MAC stuff in there, my pencil liners, a Chanel liquid liner, uh, just some, you know, all my eyeliners. I don't have a ton of different colors, and I used to keep a whole drawer in that closet full of, like, spare colored liners. Like, okay, what if I need a neon blue liner or a green when have I ever needed that like I don't so I just keep honestly keep the colors that I use and then right here I've got eyeshadows that are like singles or I've even got a couple of loose eyeshadows uh, makeup forever ones I've got a couple of small little palettes like my Dior um, the rosy tan which I love and then I've got this one called it's the 796 Cure Canage, I never know how to pronounce that. But um, yeah, and I've got that little natural Estee Lauder one that I like. Some Bare Minerals. These are just, I love these, the Bare Minerals quads, the ready ones. They're so good and every time I use them I just want more of them. This one is the Happy Place. It's beautiful. This is probably my favorite quad of all time. It's the Truth and then this is the Mixologist or the Top Shelf, what's it called? Yeah, the top shelf. They're just perfect. They're very, very good quality eyeshadows. Um, I've got the Sigma Shimmer Powder, which is really pretty. The Ravishing. I've got a couple of Make It Forever things. Some MAC Singles. Um, this cool Surratt little duo. This Prismatic Eyes that I... It's got like the cream that you use. And then it's got the matching eyeshadow that goes with it. I want to get some more of those. I really, really love that. And then I've got some Burberry eyeshadows, which I love, a Chanel, a Clinique, um, and some Bobbi Brown. Um, yeah, so that's that. I could definitely thin out my palettes even more. I, I realize this. I feel like this is a lot. But, you know, it's working for now. It's fine. Um, there's a couple things I think I could get rid of. But I'll just kind of quickly go through them and, and show you what I have. I have this Laura Mercier, which, um, it's funny because it's like, they'll have it and they'll say, oh, it's limited edition and then it'll be gone and then I'll hate to use it and show it, you know, because then people can't really get it and I always say that's like not fun to see something that someone's using that you can't get. And then I'll look and they'll have it again. So I don't know. I don't know what it is about this palette, but I love the colors, so I keep it. Um, this, love, it's my Vizar. I have this Makeup Forever. It's the natural... What is it? It's just the nine. It's just the artist palette. I don't know. It's got a name. It doesn't really say, but it's just that. I don't reach for this a whole lot, and I don't really know why. The colors are pretty. This finish is a little. I, I'm not a huge fan of those, to be honest with you. Like, I, I like that palette. I like the colors, but um, those eyeshadows just feel gross to me. Like, you can get. They're very just a weird finish. But you can get a pretty look with them. I've got both of the Tartlet palettes. Um, where's my little Tartlet? There it is. I'm like, where's my teeth palette? Oh my gosh, this needs to be with my smaller stuff. Because he's getting lost. Okay, so I've got both my Tartlet palettes. Um, I pulled out. I've got a MAC palette. This is the um, the one one of those Nordstrom ones. And I've got the Gwen Stefani palette. I've got this, the Makeup Forever, which also needs to go in here that they made for me. I love how they like chose one of the photos, my big old prego face. And I remember when I was pregnant, I was like... I don't feel like I look any different. I feel like I look the same. And then I look back and I'm like, girl. Um, okay, the Too Faced Stardust. Just love that one. This is my other MAC palette. So I literally have two MAC palettes and these are really great. They have like some of the most basic, like best colors. And I really don't need anything else. Um, I feel like the huge MAC collection that I had was just completely going to waste. And it did for years. It's like... And then I would use it, and my eyes would itch, and it's like, no, you can't keep stuff for a long time. It's just so gross, all these, like, and to me, this is huge. This is a huge makeup collection, but I, I feel like it's more under control, you know? Like, I get rid of things so I don't use it. So, I've got a couple of these Too Faced palettes. I've got the, the newer Peanut Butter palette, which I haven't really bonded yet, bonded with yet, to be honest with you. The Natural Matte palette, which is just super it's just a solid, good little palette. And then this one, I love. I, it's, it's the Sugar Pop palette. I love the packaging and everything. But, you know, it's funny because I don't use it that often because I don't wear a lot of these colors. But when I do wear color, these would be the colors I would wear. So, I just always keep it because it works. The Lorac Pro palette. This one is getting a little borderline old, I think. But I never have any problems when I wear it. 
but um, you know, you just look at things. Well, this one doesn't have a thing, but usually they say like six months, 12 months, 18 months, 24 months. You really need to go by that because even if it's like a powder product, like you can get some nasty eye infections and it's disgusting. It's, it should be disgusting. It's sick to think about it. It's like your health. Um, so I've got my Urban Decay Smoky Palette. I don't have really any of my other Naked Palettes because I found myself not using them. Um, but I really do like this one. I think it's very versatile. You've got some really natural colors over here. You've got some darker shades. I think this one is probably the most versatile out of all of them. So, I love that. I just, you know, I, I held on to the other ones for a while and I thought, you know, if I use it, I'll keep it. I never used it. So, I love those palettes, but when things get old, they get old, you know? You can't hang on to something just because you like it. It's just stupid. And, um, so it, just naturally pretty palette. They have some of the best formulas of eyeshadows ever, and I think they have a new one that I want to get. I love that. That is just one of the best palettes. And then all three of the chocolate bar, or no, two of the chocolate bar, and then what's the other one? Um, the chocolate bonbon. These are just very, very good eyeshadows. The scent is amazing. I know that's funny to say, but, um, but they really are. The scent's really good. This is the first one. I think if you had these, you really wouldn't need anything. I mean, to be honest with you, I just have a lot of these because of what I do, obviously. I get that this is a lot of stuff, but, you know, I just feel like, I feel like it's at a good, um, I feel like it's at a good point. So, closet situation. Really quickly, I'll kind of talk about this. So, I think I mentioned this a little in the beginning, but, so I used to just have... A ton of things in here and this closet opens up pretty wide but I've got a table here there's really nothing back there but like a bookcase I've got some like boxes too like my computer like little extra things that I might need for my computer which you know I kind of thinned that out too to be honest with you but I just I like to keep some things like that that you might need uh, so yeah this used to be full of crap um, this used to be full of crap and now it's not. So this I used to keep all of my extra stuff in, if you guys remember. There are two Ikea 6 drawer Alex units that are stacked on top of each other. Really love these. They're excellent for organizing, excellent for storage, but they were just not being used like I needed them to be. They were just hoarding stuff. And I thought, okay, if I ever need something, I can just be sitting here like I am and just boop boop reach over and grab it well guess what I never reached over and grabbed anything like it just never worked out that way things just sat and got old so now I love that I literally have like this up here I keep it's just a shoe box that I keep and just throw in brushes that need to be cleaned and this I keep and put things in that I don't like that I want to end up giving away if I have like a um like if a press kit or a PR box comes in and it's like like these and it's like a line of a ton of things and I just literally I swatch them and I pick out what I'm going to actually realistically keep and wear and then I put the rest in here and then I pass it on. So in the top drawer these are literally all my extra brushes. I've got a couple of like little travel things. Um, I kept one of these Sigma travel kits because I do think these are nice and these have never been used so it's kind of nice to have a set that's even though the brushes have changed so much, I mean, they're still nice. I'm going to keep those. So, um, 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 I've got, this is a good brush. I need to keep that out. But yeah, just different brushes that I can grab from. If you guys remember in the past, my brush collection was shamefully ridiculous. It just goes along with all this, you know. It's not like I'm like hoarding brushes, but I kind of was for a while. So, um, and here I've got extra false lashes. Uh, years back, the last year I went to iMats. I picked out lashes at Ardell and I went to pay for them. Um, the whole iMats experience was always uncomfortable because brands were always just trying to like give you stuff for free, which is great. I'm not complaining, but sometimes I wanted to pay for stuff. I didn't want brands to think I was coming to their booth to get free things. So I was literally like, I didn't shop a lot, but I had a bet because it was nuts, you know? I had a basket of like maybe 10 Ardell eyelashes and they grabbed them, won't let me pay for them, and then they ended up sending me this ridiculously huge box. So I just kind of work through those and I <laughs> don't, it's, it's hard. So this is literally my one and only drawer where I keep extras, extra things that I might use. Um, these are empty. I need to put some things in here, um, extra things that have never been opened. Some of these NARS pencils that 
I haven't gotten rid of yet, but I haven't really used them much. But they're so good that I'm kind of keeping them. I've got a few new brow products. Uh, some little, you know, things like that. These new HD concealers that I haven't brought myself to part with yet. I really want to play with them and figure out which shade exactly I want. Um, I'm kind of back and forth between some of the shades. I love this Too Faced Little Black Book of Bronzers because it is all of their bronzers together. So that if I ever wanted to like... I mean, you can use them, but if I ever wanted to, like, show you guys the differences, which I kind of failed at doing, I need to do a video and show you. These I've never bonded with, really. Um, I've tried, but they just, I just, I can't, I don't know. I'm never bonded with them, but I know that they're nice, but I just am still trying. So this is literally the only extra thing of extras that I have. Everything else is empty, and that is, like, such a cool feeling. So what I'm doing with this, in our guest bedroom... I had a ton of, okay, so this, that was the end of the top container. This lower container is full of craft stuff. Um, in our guest bedroom, in the dresser, I had just tons of these little baskets. I had, like, all this stuff that's, like, I'm about to show you, like, craft stuff, and I never went to use it in there. So I thought, you know, I want that bedroom to just be an empty, like, guest bedroom. I don't want to have storage, like, coming out of the woodwork in there. So, um... Yeah, I just have like some little things. I have like a little sewing kit down there. I don't sew, but you know, I kind of like basic stuff, you know what I mean? Um, like my crocheting stuff, which I kind of know how to do, but I don't. Um, I've got like scissors and cutting things and I'm not like a huge crafty like crafter. But it's just any of this odd, weird crap, you know what I mean? That you just don't know what to really do with. Oh, I need to use those Mickey things paper and extra stuff so yeah feel good I'm, I'm so when you know this isn't just like my collection it's not just a place that I come in here and like sit by myself and do my, my makeup you know it's not just that it's this is like my workspace as well so I'm finally really really happy with I feel like I say that every time because it's like a work in progress but I really do feel happy with this because this is a total 180 than any other video I've ever done collection wise because I actually got realistic and cleaned out everything. Am I going to be able to use up every bit of what I have down to the pan? No. But it comes with the territory of doing what I do. I'm going to have a lot of stuff, a little more than at the average like person that doesn't do these types of videos. Um, but I am going to start staying on top of everything. The killer here are those PR boxes and when, you know, I'm constantly trying new things or new things come out and I want to share them with you guys or try them and compare them to older things that we've talked about and loved. But, you know, I'm really making it a conscious effort. I've got that little basket in there. You know, and I've always kind of done that, but I'm really just making a con conscious effort not to squirrel away all those little PR boxes and feel like I have to keep everything, you know. I'm really just going to only keep the shades of items that I'm going to wear, only keep items that I really love, and if something isn't good and it just doesn't make me feel good when I wear it, then I'm going to give it away. So, um, I hope that that kind of inspires you guys, and maybe, you know, you're so used to just seeing, like, this little box, and, you know, it's kind of interesting, I think, to see what I see or see how I'm, what I'm working from. So, I hope that y'all enjoyed it. I will link below to some things. I'm not linking up... That's a stupid statement. I'm not linking to everything, but if anything I mentioned specific in the video, like product-wise, I might link to a couple things. Um, if we, I'm trying to think if we really talked about anything, like, super specifically. Um, but yeah, I just, I feel really good in here. It makes such a big difference. It's, this is kind of like, this is like an office. It's a workspace. It's kind of like a bunch of different things all in one. So I finally feel, I feel really good that I'm organized, that I don't feel like I'm drowning in stuff. And, um... And it just makes me feel good when I look at it. So I hope that that inspired you guys and that if you're an organization junkie like me and you kind of love this kind of stuff, I really hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you as always for spending some time with me, you guys. And I love you so much and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.